How's it going, everyone? James Lynch here for Odds Checker US, taking a look at Saturday's UFC Vegas 42 event. And keep in mind, this card is on a little bit earlier here, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. So uh, just set your clocks a little bit earlier for this one. This one's going to be taking place at the Apex in Las Vegas, so smaller cage. Keep that in mind. Uh, we're just going to take a look at the main card here. We got Song Yudong taking on Julio Arce. Right now, the odds makers have Song Yudong as a slight favorite here at minus 160 to come back on Julio Arce plus 135. Uh, Song Yudong, 23 years old, 32 years old for Julio Arce, so big age gap here five foot eight to five foot seven and 67 inch reach to 70 so uh, Julio Arce gonna have a slight reach advantage in this one but Song Yudong gonna be an inch taller uh, both fighters uh, looking to continue their way up the bantamweight rankings of course uh, Julio Arce made his bantamweight debut in the UFC getting a really impressive win over Andre Ull in his last fight we'll see if he can replicate that in this fight Song Yudong has been on quite the roll uh, just you know one loss in his last uh, couple fights here uh, has a win over Chito Vera who we saw win this past weekend uh, over Frankie Edgar got a really big win over Casey Kenny in his last fight so it's under Understandable why Song Yudong is the betting favorite. Next fight, let's take a look at Roman Delize and Kyle Dawkins, a pair of fighters who opponents both fell out. Delize was supposed to fight Eric Anders. Eric Anders gets COVID. He's out. And Kyle Dawkins was supposed to rematch Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland gets an injury. He's out of the fight as well. You see there, Delize, a big underdog at plus 200. The favorite, uh, Kyle Dawkins, minus 250. 33 years old for Delize, 28 years old for Kyle Dawkins, six foot two to six foot three, 76 inch reach to 76 uh, inch reach. So uh, similar physically, like not a huge difference. Uh, Dawkins a little bit younger as well. The lead day, if you remember, uh, in his last fight was coming off that win over Staropoli. Uh, rebounding from that loss to Trevin Giles. He's got a decent UFC record at 3-1, and one, uh, so bringing that into, into the table here. Uh, Kyle Dawkins, 2-2 uh, two and two in his UFC career. Uh, sorry, 1-2, and two, I should say. Uh, well, I guess 1-1 one, one in... Uh, sorry, 1-2-1 uh, and one, uh, with, a, with no contest here, I should say. So losing to Phil Haas, had the no contest against Kevin Holland. So we really don't know what type of Kyle Dawkins we're getting, so to speak, um, but he is the favorite for a reason. Again, a little bit younger. Uh, losing a really good guy. So Phil Haas, Brendan Allen, these are really tough guys. Kevin Holland, that was a good opponent too. So uh, understandable why Kyle Dawkins is the favorite. Uh, also on this main card, we have Felicia Spencer, the former uh, featherweight title challenger, taking on Leah Letson. It's been a while since we've seen Leah in the cage. Spencer, a big favorite here, minus 335. Uh, 30 years old for Felicia Spencer. 29 for Leah Letson, five foot six to five foot seven, 68 to 71. Pretty similar overall in terms of the physicality. But Felicia Spencer's fought a lot better competition here. You look at this run of opponents: Norma Dumon, who we saw pick up a win over Aspen Ladd a few weeks ago; Amanda Nunez, Chris Cyborg, Megan Anderson. I mean, uh, Spencer has fought sort of the who's who in the weight class. That's why she's such a big favorite here. Leah Letson has only got uh, two UFC fights. Well, actually, one technically. It was the Stolarenko fight in her debut, where she won a split decision. But she hasn't fought since November of 2018. Huge layoff. A lot of health issues so we'll see if Letson can pull off the upset but I think uh, the odds definitely favor uh, Spencer like I mentioned at minus 335. Uh, the other fight the co-main event Ben Rothwell Marcos Rodrigo de Lima pretty even fight on uh, the odds uh, minus 150 for Ben Rothwell to come back on de Lima plus 130. 40 years old though for Ben Rothwell that's something that jumps out right away. Uh, Marcos Rodrigo de Lima not young by, by any means either but he's still 36. Six foot four to six foot one 80 to 75 so Rothwell going to be the bigger fighter here. Rothwell's got the edge and experience uh, you know, he's fought the who's who as far as the weight class goes. Rodrigo de Lima hasn't, but he's also younger and uh, he's actually, you know, he seems to win one, lose one, win one, lose one. So we'll see if that trend continues here in the octagon as well. Are you going with youth or are you going with experience? If you're going with experience, then you got to go Ben Rothwell in this fight. And then the main event, we've got Max Holloway, Yair Rodriguez. Max Holloway, a huge favorite in this fight at minus 550. The comeback on Yair Rodriguez, plus 400. 29 years old here for Holloway, 29 years old for Yair Rodriguez, 5'11 apiece and 69 inch reach for Max Holloway, 71 inch reach for Yair Rodriguez. The reason Holloway is such a big favorite is two reasons. Number one is the fact that Holloway just got a really impressive win over Calvin Cater back in January. And Yair Rodriguez has not fought since October of 2019. It's been a bit. He had a USADA suspension. That's why he's been off for so long. Uh, make sure you check out my main event pick for this fight. But uh, that's what we got for the main event. Should be a good one here. Two top featherweights in Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What are your picks for the main card? Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel at Odds Checker US, where you will get my breakdowns every single week along with my fighter interviews. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.